All right, today we are going to put together our patio planter. I can't wait to show you this project. I am on the deck of my home and I know a lot of you are gardening on a deck or a patio or a porch and sometimes we feel limited, but I don't want that to be the case. Uh, so I'm excited to show you this patio planter. It is gonna be on wheels. So you can roll it into the sun, out of the sun, into partial shade, depending on what you need for the plants you're growing. So I'm hoping this is gonna, only gonna take a few minutes to put together and hopefully I'll be able to show you how easy it is so that you can do it too. All right, so this is in our steel planter line. If you followed along, you know that I have steel beds in my kitchen garden and I've really enjoyed them. This particular steel is a powder coated rather than a quart and steel. So I'm gonna show you what the panels look like. They come nicely packaged together to try to minimize the boxing. So here are two panels. I believe I got a slate color. Um, so that's one side. And here's the other. And then these are supposedly going to just slide in together with the ends. So this bed is supposed to be, I think, a uh, four, foot wide, uh, four foot long bed with, um, that's about two feet tall. Let's see if I can get the other pieces. So these are the end pieces right here. And then we have all my little connectors and tools, which are just a bunch of little screws and some uh, instructions, which we know how good I am at doing those. So there are the sides. And here are the wheels. So I think that's about it. Let's see, there's maybe more, one more set of wheels. So I've created, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but I did this project where I put a steel tub on wheels and I've loved using that for herbs and greens. All right, I think I got everything. And uh, so this is fun because it's ready-made. You don't have to go and buy all that equipment. You can just do it yourself. All right, so it's time for me to get started. I'm gonna put together the base of the bed first and then we'll put it on wheels. All right, so the side panels happen last. The first part that's gonna happen is attaching this bottom to the side, to the uh, long panels. And they really just slide into one another. So I put these beds together um, similar in my kitchen garden, but I have them without the wheels on them. And I have them in the quart and steel finish. If you do get the court and steel finish, which is really beautiful, you do want to make sure that you're okay with it um, changing colors. The court and steel is going to create like a little rust color, and it is also um, it's going to leave a little bit of a residue as it rains and things like that. So you might want to keep something under your bed uh, while it does that. Okay, so pretty sure that it just slides just like that and that's how we put in the first side you could put this together with probably like a um, a blanket underneath is a great idea just to protect it from scratching now I put these together before and I'll say the hardest part is just that the screws are really tiny <laughs> all right so I had to go snatch a screwdriver uh, I think if you put it through the first hole and then you can line it up from above and then start to screw it in. So it's taking a little bit of muscle, but I'm slowly getting it started. And the, wor the first one's usually the worst one. So got that in. Now we're going to put on the, uh, do we call these washers? I think it's called a washer. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other piece on this. I'm gonna try. <laughs> In hopes that 
uh, I can use the support and have gravity helping me. Again, probably best to do this as a two-person job, but I want to show you it is possible to do it with one person. Just takes a little bit of acrobatics. That's good. Now it's going to be, I think it should be easier to get these screws in because I'm not having to work sideways. All right, let's see if we can get this one in. There we go. So you see these holes down the center. That's super important. That's going to help make sure that there's drainage in the container. If you don't have those holes on the bottom, or if you're making a container yourself, you wanna always be sure there's drainage. Otherwise, you're basically creating a bathtub <laughs> for your plants, which is not our goal. I forgot to check with you if the phone's on. Thank you. Okay, I think I've about got it. It is tight, I will say that. It's a tight little fit. Okay, so I'm gonna aim to do the middle ones and then I think we have the base of the bed. Then what we do is slide the side panels on. We're just about there with the body of the bed. All right. So we've got these end pieces and they are just gonna go right over. Line up the end panel downward bent lip with the top corner opening of the side panels. So I think it just locks in place just like that. And actually, I think we can just keep it uh, flipped for right now. Getting a few more screws. So just put the whole thing together upside down is essentially what I'm saying. Now for this kind of container, there's some different irrigation options you can use. You could pull up a line in through one of these drainage holes and put, you know, an automatic little drip system if you have a water line nearby. Uh, probably what I'm going to do is use an Oya system. So the Oyas will, um, you, there's like little terracotta pots that don't have drainage. You fill them up with water and they slowly release that water to the root systems of your plants. And then you just check and as soon as they start to dry out, you fill them back up again. All right, this is looking pretty good. Let me make sure it's supposed to be on the outside. I think so. Yep. All right, so now we're going to flip it. Do this other side panel. So a big common question I get about steel planters is if they are, uh, if they get too hot. And my experience has been that they do heat up, but I've never you know, when I touch them, they will be warm to the touch, like in the middle of the summer. Uh, but I've never experienced that plants, you know, suffer for that or have trouble with growing in the planters. Um, I hesitated when I was first putting in gardens in Houston with using steel for that very reason, because as you know, in Houston, Texas, it gets very hot and so, I had a few clients request steel planters at the beginning, and I actually said no. And then as um, the years went on, we had this community garden created in one of our key parks for the city. And um, they did all the, the beds in court and steel beds, right in the middle of Houston, like in a very urban area. 
So very little cooling, like one of the hottest parts you could be in, in the city. And um, I would go visit the gardens and the plants looked so healthy and great. And so I was like, you know, if these, this major development here in the city is using them, then I should be able to use them too. All right, so here is our system for the, for the rollers. So now I gotta figure out how these go on here. We've got some heavy duty screws. So it says, loosen the bolts and nuts that attach the casters to the smaller section of the frame. Uh, leave the nuts on the bolts. Loosening the bolts will allow for easier alignment. Place the longer section of the frame on top of the shorter section of the frame and align the holes of the two frame sections. All right, so I had a little bit of difficulty tightening this up, but I think we're good now, or loosening them. That, that was the hardest part. You wanted to loosen them so they're nice and flush with one another. And then basically what we're gonna do is connect so that these are bolted together and we can just place the bed down on top of them. So now that I've got them loosened, I'm just gonna place these in the holes. I think that might've been the hardest part, hopefully, is getting those loosened up. They were on there pretty tightly. Uh, I started to use this little guy and I couldn't figure out how to get it to go backwards. So we just ended up having to use elbow grease. <laughs> Molly held it one side and then I turned it with, uh, is this called a wrench? I turned it with that and we got it loosened up. Okay, so these are some huge bolts. You can tell they are created to be able to hold a lot of weight, which is nice. That's what we want. All right, here's this side. Now we're gonna work on this end. And we're just going to have this little rolling situation here pretty soon. Pretty cool. So you can tell this is basically just a, um, a little addition to the bed. The nice part about this is it doesn't just make it possible for you to roll it, but it's also going to get it off the ground. Uh, which uh, will just make it easier for the water to flow out. You might have your garden on like a solid uh, material, like a, maybe you're on a concrete patio or something like that. And when that's the case, you really want uh, there to be some airflow between your garden and the, um, the bottom of the bed uh, and the, the ground. So this should provide that. All right, I'm starting to see it take shape. How about you? Ah, every project I do, halfway through, I wanna quit. And I do quit on some of these little put together projects I've done. Let's see if I can get this in. So getting those loosened was really important because they weren't, they had been put together probably in like the warehouse or whatever, just to keep the wheel on. Uh, but they weren't straight, and so it would be really hard to get this. All right, so we'll slide this back. I'm gonna go ahead and lock the wheels. They just have a little clicker thing. So I'm gonna lock the wheels in place so it doesn't roll while I put the top on. And then I'm just gonna grab my planter. Kinda heavy now that it's all put together. And let's see if I did it right. Ta-da! Oh my goodness! Okay, now that it's in, I can, uh, I can actually slide it over. So I'm gonna unlock the wheels. And move it into place. So we're gonna be setting up a little patio garden up here. And now our first bed is complete and ready to plant. Well, it needs soil first and you know, all kinds of other stuff. 
but isn't it a cutie? I think this is so great. It looks like a rolling filing cabinet, but it won't once we fill it up with lots of plants, maybe even some trellises. Stay tuned to see all the things we put inside this rolling patio planter. Thanks for bearing with me as I figured out <laughs> how to use these tools and how to put this together. All in all, even with the blenders, it took less than an hour to assemble, and I'm sure the second one will go much faster. You can find these in the Gardenery shop at Gardenery.com. There are rolling steel planters, and uh, they're perfect for a patio porch or a deck like mine to start growing this season.